Hey everyone, I think it's time to give my review for this 3D printed plane called Grom. It is a classic plank fixed wing style uh, plane with only two control surfaces, elevons, which is a direct replica of the Strix Goblin with all its uh, pros and cons. This is a real high speed model with uh, really high stall speed and some natural yaw instability. You would wonder why it looks so pathetic. Well, I've been flying some acro on uh, our local RC flying club and, well, I hit some tree. See it yourself. Uh, there wasn't so much damage except the wing spar broke loose but it's uh, it's okay and uh, the tail were just ripped off here it is it was just ripped off with the motor propeller and the esc luckily i have some connections here so it didn't damage my plate controller at all there wasn't so much damage to the wing i, get, I mean like this is all the damage it had. I'll, I won't reprint it again, I'll just apply some tape. And it will fly again. I've already printed uh, a new body for it. Uh, I printed from uh, recommended Isan PLI Plus because of its... Uh, because it's strong with real, uh, really good layer adhesion and you just can't really break it, uh, at least with your hands. I mean, it, 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 will, it, it, will, it won't break even if you push it, especially here on the belly. I've been flying this particular uh, body, this one, for, for a month and I had like uh, 10 or 15 flights and there's literally no damage from the landings high-speed landings since it's a flying wing. I also have uh, the old body for this one. This is the third body already for three months of flying it. And uh, this would be the fourth. Let me show you. This is its... Uh, second body red one and you see it's kind of uh, it's not broken but so you can see i had the same problem and the same break as here almost in the same place uh, it's just uh, uh, the auto launch gone wrong i changed the propeller and didn't secure it um, as much as needed and uh, it's just went off during uh, during lunch and uh, it, it uh, just nose dive into the ground and uh, broke its tail I tried to glue it in the field but I wasn't really um, confident in how in the strength of its glue and I just decided I just decided to print the body again and uh, on this on this one I can I can show just how strong this model is. I mean, you just it just won't break. You don't need any carbon spars here because because of the smart placement of the reinforcement ribs inside inside the model itself. This is not the infill. This model prints with with no infill at all. Everything here is carefully placed during model design and thus you achieve really high part print speed. I mean, this one prints in two and a half hours uh, on 50 millimeters per second feed rate. This one, I think it's uh, four or five hours. This one is six hours. I've printed all these body parts in one day of printing 
I mean, this is really amazing. If it was uh, the infill, it would take much more time because of all the travels and all the retractions. I think some of these parts you can even print in spiralized mode. And it weights uh, not really much. The model itself is uh, des designed really carefully. What I like about it is the clever placement of the reinforcement ribs. They are placed exactly where they are needed. So you don't spend your print time printing ribs, for example, here, where you don't really need them. You, do you don't hit anything with your top unless you fall like this. The belly is really reinforced, but uh, as you can see on this old body, you'll still get some uh, cracks here and there if you land on some rocks or hard surfaces. But I mean, it uh, it still flies. You would also notice these uh, these strips of tape under the wings. I place them because my first couple of launches of this. Uh, model, the maiden launches, went horribly wrong because my hand just slipped of this very slippery, uh, very slippery body and this tape just rips so well and I have very strong grip on this model and I can throw it during the auto launch without losing it. So I'm going to replace all the electronics onto the new body and build it, I guess, uh, I guess even today. Um, also, I wanted to note uh, some of the clever things uh, between the parts themselves. First of all, they are not big. I mean, they, they can easily fit in my Ender 3, for example, for comparison. Right now I'm pr uh, printing Titan Dynamics Comet and its parts slice like for 220mm height. This just doesn't fit in my Ender 3 be uh, because it was kind of upgraded and I lost some Z height and I had to, uh, to slice and split these files myself in Prusa Slicer just to get them printed. Also. I really like that every part has these alignment uh, holes here. You just cut one centimeter of uh, filament and put it inside. And then you can easily align all the parts and uh, ensure that you have really strong bond between the parts. And check out the wing. This is uh, the wing from my second body. You can see how all the reinforcement ribs are placed inside. Right? Here's one, here's another, here's another. And then on the wing tip, you have some reinforcement because the wing tips usually damage the most because of all the landings or hitting the trees. And, well, in fact, I never got my wing tip damaged. Usually it is uh, front edge damage. I think uh, maybe in future it would be reasonable to apply some kind of... Uh, uh, some kind of a tape in the front edge, but it will uh, look really ugly. One thing I don't like about this model and this wing design in particular is that they're secured on the TPU hinges. The idea is great, but well, personally for me it is a really terrible experience because for for some reason my TPU, which is Polymaker TPU, just won't glue to this uh, PLA Plus plastic. You see how ugly it looks, how much glue I had to apply and I'm still not really confident in its uh, in its bond. I mean, well, yeah, this is this is rather strong. Uh, well, 
with my current wing I I just applied this uh, tape this is a gorilla tape and uh, it's been great it's uh, it's just it's so strong and the bond is uh, really really great it's uh, won't on tape at all and uh, there is no real real flex going on with this uh, with the surface also you can see this red uh, thingy here so it is not a replacement for the control rod it's uh, it's just hangs on it now uh, this its purpose to reduce any uh, any warp of the control rod because of the forces playing on the control surfaces but it's uh, it's not what happens really i i think it's useless but it looks cool like in the uh, body color also check out how i printed this last piece in the white pla plus and the play with this contrast is uh, really nice and i also like this color this is the sun pla plus uh, fire engine red so this is the second wing I'll, I will I don't want to break it because it's my replacement or backup wings but I have my first wings these are wings from my very first body and I can try to break it this is its flex you see Yeah, and uh, <laughs> surprisingly, it broke by the uh, uh, where two parts are connected to each other. Wonder if you'll. Oh, you can see I, I did a really bad job gluing these parts together. Yeah, they break right in, in, right in the connection. I wonder if I'll be able to to break the front surface of this. I mean, this is what I got, and, and with, with hands it's just. Uh, no, it's bad idea. All right, what about electronics? I fly it with the default recommended motor. It is Emax Eco 2807 at 4S and 1700 kV. I fly it with 7 inch Gimpan Flash Prop. This is the right one and it matches the body color. I really like it. Uh, this setup gives me around uh, 140 kilometers per hour top speed and the average efficiency for cruise flights is around 60 or even 70 milliamps per hour uh, i use this uh, xylor uh, esc 40 amps it's okay for video system i finally switched from um, analog to dji and I started with all three reunions and it's just been super amazing. I did some edits to this canopy to add some cutout so you can access the Type-C port and uh, the flash card. Um, you just unscrew the canopy. Here you can see my flight controller. It is uh, Matic F405 wing. Uh, it is great, reliable flight controller, but there is some issue with the overall design of this model. I wish there this cutout was a little bit uh, longer or there was some hedge, because this flight controller, as you can see, is very far there and it has USB, micro USB uh, port over there. You just, I just struggle. Uh, connecting to my PC every time. It wouldn't be an issue with flight controllers like uh, H743, which has like this uh, uh, USB port uh, on the wires, 
which you can place wherever you want, but anyway. I really like the idea of placing the flight controller on the um, on the separate kind of plate. You just unscrew this uh, screw and you can take the flight controller away. I really like it. There is a lot of place inside. So much space. I use TBS Crossfire with this uh, long antenna. You are supposed to place your antenna here in, uh, in your tail like uh, like this Oop. and it's nice and vertical and and rather protected in this model there is already provisioned a place for a pan server so if you have a spare 9 gram server you can connect it to your flight controller and basically get your pen system for free but the uh, here i have a pan tilt system so this is not included with the model this is a completely separate uh, development of some guy with the nickname turbo models i'll try to include the link for the files uh, in the description and this gives me basically 270 degrees of uh, look back and also i can look down or up very high and it built especially for DJI all 3 air unit. There is a nice holder for its antenna. There is a place exactly for this uh, model, but of course you can try to put any any VTX here. I I personally fly with Rush Tank Solo here, and it was really fine. Um, if you're going to put uh, all 3 air unit here, don't forget to add some some tape underneath it, otherwise you risk uh, uh, burning through your your canopy, or just print it from ABS if you if you dare. My all-up weight with uh, this uh, chunky 21700 uh, lithium-ion forest battery is around 1.1 uh, kilogram. And uh, this is uh, Molecel P42A, so it is uh, 4200 uh, milliamp hours battery, and it gives me around 20-30 minutes of flight. Pretty active flight, really. Uh, like you can do really, real acro, and the discharge rate for this is really high. It's 45 amps. My EC is 40 amps, by the way. And uh, in the top, I guess during launch, I have uh, full throttle here, uh, and it pulls around 35 amps, I guess. Few tips uh, for your build. First of all, if you are going to print it, turn off linear advance. Otherwise, you can end up with uh, really big holes in these uh, support ribs especially if your printer is uh, very accurate uh, this would be a real problem you want uh, to have a little bit like squish over here and uh, and you want these ribs to bond together also try to minimize the cooling i print this on 50 millimeters per second and cool and the minimum cooling i can afford it's like 40% but I have two coolers otherwise your you risk uh, having very bad la layer adhesion and it, uh, it can just really easy break between the layers keep this in mind this model really likes uh, somewhat forward CG if uh, during your flight you see something like this You see it wobbles. Pitch oscillation, right? This is uh, most probably not your PIDs, but well, yeah, PIDs too. But uh, the biggest uh, factor here is your CG. It's too bad. Especially if you're kind of flying acro and then toggling your angle mode and your plane starts going crazy on the pitch axis. 
this is forward CG and too high P uh, value in your PID controller. By the way, here are my PIDs. Feel free to use them. Overall, I really like this model. I flew some mid long range missions with it and it was really great. It can go like 20 kilometers there and back. Uh, it has really great efficiency and uh, pretty stable in high winds. Also, given its really high speed, it can survive uh, in high altitudes where wind speed can go up to like 50 kilometers per hour. I also flew quite a lot of uh, acro uh, near the trees. You can try yourself too, if you're brave enough, of course. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.